In this video, I'm going to cover what to do if your battery terminal is loose, but the bolt is screwed all the way in as far as it can go. The other day my vehicle left me stranded. I'm not sure if this is the problem, but I'm going to do this one first. So I went and got a two pack of battery post shims. They cost $2 per shim. Take it and bam, slam it on the battery post like that. That's pretty much the end of the video, but I'll cover off a few more things and you can stick around and hear my sultry voice. There's a link in the description for those battery shims as well. First thing I'm going to do is grab my 10 millimeter wrench and loosen the nut that collapses the terminal onto the battery post. And you're going to want that nut as loose as you can get it. If it's a bolt, it's a bolt, but in this case, obviously, it's a, it's a nut. So it absolutely has to get loosened as far as you can go in order for it to fit over top of that battery post terminal. I then took the biggest pair of needle nose pliers I could find and used those to stretch out the terminal so that it would go over top of the battery post and shim. I'm using another pair of needle nose pliers as a tool. Probably shouldn't do that, but anyway, just a few taps and it'll squeeze its way on there. It is tight. Then, obviously you're gonna take your 10 millimeter and get that thing as tight as possible. So not just tight on the shim, but you want the shim to collapse and the shim to be tight on the battery post. The last thing that you want is for the shim to start slipping on the battery post once it's actually tightened down. So you don't wanna just tighten it until the terminal is tight on the shim. You gotta keep going, crush that shim, right down onto the battery post. Give it a few shakes, make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So I have tightened it almost all the way back down even though there's now a shim on it. So you see it's almost back to as tight as it was before the shim was down there. Get in the vehicle, use this extremely strange keyless system that Nissan came up with in 2012 and the vehicle starts right up. So hopefully this solves my little battery issue. If not, I might need a new battery. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.